Uh, good morning, everyone. So, today, after uh, seeing our uh, tension in corporate nature, the various factors that are the potential, just review uh, that various factors that are the potential that are anatomical factors, physiological factors, physical factors, various written to undergirds that are used for emissions. We will further proceed with our topic that is stability. Stability is inherent quality. Stability is inherent quality in the processes that bears stability means resistance of any processes to lateral displacements. Lateral, lateral displacement that is called as. So if you apply force on this side, so it should be safe. It should not move like that. That is called as stability. That means quality of removable dental process to be firm, steady, or constant to resist displacement by any horizontal or rotational forces. Rotational forces. That is called as stability. So our danger it should be stable in oral cavity. It should not be dislodged by cheek or any tongue movement. Means if patients raise his tongue, then it should stay. When patients suck, when patients speak, when patient swallow, it should be in the in their original position. That is called as stability. Stability means resistance to horizontal displacement of processes. That is called as stability. Okay, so what are the various factors that affect uh, stable processes? That means neuromuscular control. Means the patient should have a very good neuromuscular control. That is the first factor. Second factor, relationship of opposing occlusal surface. That means your occlusal table, your occlusal plane, it should be at or below the corner of the means tongue should rest over the occlusal table then and then the danger will be stable that is factor second factor third factor relationship of danger base to underlying tissue that means the danger base it should be close adaptation to the underlying bone and gingival tissue and the last factor that is the relationship of external surface and borders to orofacial musculature. That means the polished surface of the denture it should be in harmony with oral musculature. That is tongue and cheek mucosa. Then these factors contribute to stability. Then relationship of external surface and peripheral to oral structure means denture border must extend to contact movable tissue that will give a stability. That what the fish believes, the polished surface is the principal factor that governs the stability. Means polished surface it should be recorded in neutral zone. Neutral zone means the zone, the dead space where the tongue pressure and cheek pressure neutralize in particular zone that is called as neutral zone. Again, action of certain muscle must be permitted to occur without injury. Means muscle trimming it should be done during a recording. That means label prenum, buccal prenum, masseter notch. It should be recorded properly. Again, normal functioning of some muscle have to be enhanced 
stability means modulus you know the modulus where the eight muscles insertions is there that modulus plays important role in stability of the tension this is a, uh, this diagram shows the neutral zone means these are the tip where the tongue and cheek pressure are neutralized cheek and tongue are neutralized such that teeth arrangement do in a such a way to arrangement that tongue and cheek muscle counterbalance means if tongue is pressing more the cheek also has to be pressed more in a particular area in the dense space that space is called as neutral zone concept again a polish a position of the polished surface denture must be placed such that there is equilibrium between inner pressure exerted by lip cheek and outer pressure exerted by the tongue tongue movement we are up, we are, this tongue is not under the control it's involved okay so tongue pressure is neutralized by lip and cheek so denture space is called as dense space or stable zone or neutral zone or zone of minimum tension so proper location of teeth is where antagonist must muscle pressure balance and cancel out that means counter balance effect of the denture processes that will affect the stability again relationship of denture to underlying tissue that means it the relationship is more important for maintaining support but it also contribute to denture stability means our denture should be closely adapted to the underlying denture base same and then only your denture should be stable okay ridge anatomy large square broad offer greater resistance to lateral lip thrust means if the ridge is bulky thick ridge so lateral forces whatever rotational forces applied on both side buccally and lingual it should be minimized in large square broad ridge the stability is maximum while if ridge is small small ridge is small then lateral force forces will be less because there is a less surface area so less surface area less the surface area less the ridge less is the pressure more the surface more the stability more the ridge that is the ridge anatomy relationship to the stability again arch form square square arch form so this is a square arch form so square arch form has i beam principle effect i beam that is called as i beam that means when force is applied on this side it should be goes on like it like this like this like so there is a more stability your prosthesis is more stable than ovoid or v shape ridge that is arch relationship inter arch space if inter arch space means opposing maxillary and mandibular arch space is more excessive what will happen unstable or greater leverage forces will be there more the space more will be the leverage force means more is the space height is the more is the height more is the uh, forces traveling distance that means there is a more leverage forces means unstable denture if less is the space then it is greater stability but what the problem will occur teeth shaping there is a minimum space for opposing arch means there is a less space for teeth arrangement that is problem with this interarch space step of palatal wall stiff palatal wall if the palate is stiff palatal throat form stiff the stability will be greater if palate is like a slanted then is a less surface area then stability is less that means stiff the palate more is the stability again if the palate is 90 degree that is class 3 palate then there is a rest stability or uh, less retention that is relationship of shape of the palatal wall 
then relationship of opposing occlusal table it should be harmony between opposing occlusal surface that will contribute to stability denture must be free from interferences without range of movement that means occlusal table your teeth arrangement lower teeth arrangement it should be at the corner of the mouth or below the corner of the mouth then tongue will rest over the occlusal table that means stability is more if occlusal table is high then tongue will rest below the denture and tongue will lift the denture away that means stability is less that is the factors that affect the stability opposing occlusal surface again occlusion what the occlusion theory states bilateral posterior contact ensures stability of prosthesis is your denture teeth arrangement it should be bilaterally balanced bilaterally balanced it means in denture patient balancing is there then stability is there bilateral balance bilateral balance means simultaneous contact of anterior and posterior left lateral and right lateral they should be simultaneous it should be <coughs> simultaneous contact of opposing arch maxillary and mandibular anterior and posterior left and right by so it should be in bilateral balance then denture will be stable again monoplane occlusal scheme that means zero degree if the teeth are zero degree zero in the zero degree no any cusp cusp or relationship so monoplane occlusal scheme or zero degree get more stability to the prosthesis again zero degree teeth reduces horizontal forces by eliminating inclined teeth that means if the teeth are zero degree flat teeth that means there is a no inclines maxillary or mandibular teeth that means there is a no lateral forces lateral leverage forces that will reduce the stability means zero degree teeth will gives the denture more stable position in oral canine again most functional closure occur closer to centric lesion means if the your denture teeth arrangement is in centric relation proper intercuspation proper cusp fossa relation then there will be more attention again bilateral chewing contribute to more stability than balance of tooth means after giving denture you have to tell the patient chew from both side left and right side not on the single side what the problem in our natural dentition single tooth single root single crown has a single root. whole our teeth and denture no whole denture prosthesis whole teeth anterior and posterior teeth are set on the denture base that is one unit understood means our natural dentition one tooth one root but in denture whole tooth and one denture base that's why our patient will have to instruct after insertion chew from both side that will give denture stability proper denture stability again lingualized occlusion lingualized occlusion means upper palatal cusp it should fall in the central fossa that will give more stability to the denture that means what is the factors first bilateral balance denture should be there one second patient has to instruct about chew from the both side third lingualized occlusion concept that means upper palatal cusp it should be fall in the central fossa of the mandibular that will give more stability to the denture again tooth position and occlusal plane relations mandibular plane that is high resulting reduced stability means that already we have told if lower occlusal table 
if it is high then tongue will lift the danger away from the dangerous daily area this that means if the plane is high the stability is less if plane is at the corner of the mouth or below the corner of the mouth then danger will be more stable that the tooth position affect the relationship of the stability then role of tongue in neuromuscular control <clears throat> our tongue has four intrinsic muscle and four extrinsic muscles so these whenever uh, in some patient there is a hyperactivity of the tongue muscles so that tongue muscle play important role in stability of the dentures in hypo is normal tongue there will be uh, less stability if hyperactive tongue is there then there will be less stability okay then education to the patient what you have to educate to the patient always patient has asked to retract tongue guided through retaining period means you have to ask to take the sip of water from above so patient habit retracting the tongue habit is in the favorable position that will affect the stability so patient education patient training is most important to achieve the denture stability okay then our fourth pando our fourth factors that affect principal or that objective of our denture is support support that means ground ground you are taking support from the ground likewise on our oral cavity our denture edentulous arch upper and lower arch is a supporting area of our denture process so what is support support is resistance to lateral forces of mastication occlusal forces and other induced forces applied in the direction towards the denture bearing area means when you apply the force at towards the denture bearing area that is called as support so lower we are applying forces towards the denture bearing area that is called as support so what what are the area of support in our maxilla and mandible so primary stress uh, support area and secondary stress bearing area or primary support area and secondary support so maxillary arch primary stress bearing area or support area is horizontal plate of the hard palate that is called as primary support area and in mandible buccal cervical area is the primary support area or primary stress bearing area again secondary stress support area is rugae area in maxilla and in mandible the dentinous arch and pier shaped retromolar pad is the secondary stress bearing area or secondary support area so that is the supporting area of our maxillary and mandibular ridge okay so max in maxillary horizontal plate of hard palate is the primary support area in mandible buccal cervical area is primary support area understood again there is a slight area also means area where a displaceable tissue that means movable tissue are there that we can use for uh, slight area for the denture support okay so what the factors that affect the support what is the importance of uh, covering buccal cervical area so buccal cervical area lies between external site of molar and external oblique line that has intact vertical plate does not tend to resolve due to stimulation of attached buccal means buccal cell area why we are calling as it is a primary support area because these area don't resolve because of 
stimulation of buccinating muscle. Again, intact cortical bone are there. That means trabecular pattern are in the perpendicular manner. And again, occlusal plane which, uh, that is perpendicular to the occlusal force. That means buccal cell failure lies in such a way that the occlusal uh, vertical forces which should lie perpendicular to the buccal cell area. That means it is a perpendicular. So that's why it is not resorbing. Again, what is the importance of retromolar fat? It contains connective tissue, mucus gland, smoother or less hornified epithelium and distal termination of mandibular impression should end to cover the retromolar fat because this is called as secondary stress bearing or support area in mandible and in maxilla hard palate posterior part of the hard palate is called as primary support area again the palatal support we have to take support from the palate why because high high or v shaped palate provides secondary support while flat or u shaped palate provide excellent support that should not lost when use of arbitrary relief means correct relief should be provided with use of pressure indicating press that's why we are marking anterior vibrating line posterior vibrating line and we are in recording posterior palatal C area in maxilla okay so important factors that improve the support that means if the, uh, there is a uh, movable tissue remove the surgical again use tissue conditioner for uh, making tissue favorable then surgical reduction of sharp or spiny mandibular ridges then surgical enlargement of uh, ridge that is to develop bone grafting and by placing implant that improve the support and that means if you want to improve the support you have to place the implant you have to enlarge the uh, reach by bone grafting we have to use surgically we have flatten the reach we have to reduce, reduce the uh, movable tissue we have to reduce the spine or sharp ridges that will interfere with the support okay. so tissue that are susceptible to resorption should not be subject to pressure. So, in sharp ridges, we have to reduce surgically or we have to use different different impression technique. That means window technique we can use to improve the support. Again, different factors that region of mucosa overlying the neuromuscular bundles that is incisive papilla mental foramina we have to relieve area because in maxillary arch the incisive uh, incisive foramina is present in the uh, in between the two central incisor region if we have applied pressure over the incisive papilla region so what will happen so paresthesia means paresthesia or numbing or tingling sensation will happen over the pre-maxillary area. Why? Because these areas are under constant pressure. So what will happen? So these areas are under always in the constant pressure. So what will happen? Blood supply of that Patient maxillary pre maxillary region it is obliterated. What will happen if you if we apply pressure over the incisive papilla area? Then what will happen? There will be pressure. That pressure obliterate. What obliterate? Blood supply, nerve supply. And what will happen? If we obliterate by pressure the blood supply and nerve supply, the tingling and numbness of the premaxillary region is occurred. That's why 
we have to give relief over the incisive papillary region. That is the more important in denture fabrication. For the sake of you, you fabricate normally, what will happen? In tingling or numbness will be happen in your maxillary denture. Okay. Then mental foramina. In mandibular, there is a mental foramina in between two premolar region, mandibular premolar, first and second premolar. So we have to give relief over that that mental foramina region because if we apply denture pressure, because if you place uh, denture in mouth, so denture is under constant load means you are placing denture over the reach we are covering the denture uh, over the reach so these denture are under constant pressure over the mental foramina and also over the incisive foramina so that incisive foramina mental foramina is under constant load that's why the denture will impinge the blood supply and nerve supply and that will Hamper the tingling and numbness over the maxillary and mandibular denture processes. That's why these area it should be recorded. That should be given really during the impression, during your primary impression, during your uh, final impression, or during your uh, routine uh, at the time of insertion. So really it must cover the that area. Again, uh, mid palatal raphe or mandibular tora, uh, mid palatal raphe. In mid palatal raphe, in secondary, uh, in your special tray, what you are placing is thin layer of wax over the mid palatal suture in the center of the maxillary arch. Because in that mid palatal suture, there is a thin mucosa. So that thin mucosa. If we are fabricating denture without relief, so that thin mucosa it will get traumatized and ulceration will be seen on the mid palatine suture. That's why mid palatine suture should provide a relief, it should provide a uh, wax spacer, so that wax spacer act as a relief structure in that uh, relief structure will give proper support and proper stability okay then last our factors that affect objective or principle of our impression is aesthetic so in your mind there will be question in your mind there will be question So aesthetic, uh, in your uh, aesthetic purpose, your danger claims, it should be, your danger claims, thickness of the danger claims is one of the important factors that know the aesthetic. Thicker danger claims preferred in long term a dangerous patient to give required mouth full support. Thicker uh, danger claims that will give fullness. If resorption, bone resorption is more, then if you give thinner, then their fullness will be less. So, if the patient has a longer dangerous history, then you have to do thicker dangerous. Impression should be perfectly reproduced the width and height of the entire sulcus for the proper application of the denture planes. So, our whole principle that is preservation of the dangerous arch, support, stability, retention, and lastly, aesthetic. That will affect the your successful danger. So remember, friends, these four five factors that is very very important for 
lower denture fibrillation. So conclusion, main objective of fibrillation, the cluster denture have maximum retention, stability without causing damaging effect to the supporting structure. So good impression can favorably uh, impress and reduce the anxiety of the patients and confidence to the dentist. The choice of impression technique material is made by the dentist on the basis of oral condition, concept of function of tissue the surrounding the tissue, ability to handle available impression material. So good impression must fulfill our MM divine dictum that is Preservation of what is remaining is more important than what is going to be lost. That means, for the sake of replacement, don't hamper or don't harm your natural oral structure. So, replacement is a part that patient is coming to for replacement purpose, no doubt. But you have to preserve what is remaining. That is reason you dangerous heart, natural food, your natural gingiva, your natural oral structure that is more important for the danger, danger success. Okay, friends. So this is all about our objective of integration, our principle of integration, whole venture, our whole complete venture. Fixed percentage, renewable percentage, whole moves around these five important factors. So don't forget these factors. Safe. Okay, friends. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourself and your family member. Okay.